Hello Leo, it's my lady from my lady's way tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of October 9th through the 16th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I close off of my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight off the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing and setting up personal readings with me. If you'd like a person to read, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, check your sun, moon, and rising signs and let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on for Leo, Leo, Leo? Ooh, okay, so it seems like um, you're not where you're supposed to be. It's like you got a new journey. You, I feel like you're getting ready to start a new journey or you should start a new journey, okay? Or you just haven't found what you need to um, stay or move on, okay? Okay, seems like you may be an arrogant person or you might be dealing with one or both of you might be like, arrogant stubborn headed or bull headed you know you might be dealing with a um under just um another fire another fire sign i'm feeling like all right or taurus all right what's going on for the leo 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 for the week of october 9th through the 16th october 9th through the 16th 2017 Leo, 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 love reading. What's going on? Leo, 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 what's going on? Leo, Leo, Leo. All right. So, somebody is battling with some low self-esteem. This could be you or your partner. Or somebody close to you. It doesn't always have to be your partner. But it seems like uh, this might be somebody that you know. You know, this could be your partner. And it seems like one person has to make some kind of decision about this. Or maybe you are making a decision about um, your self-esteem. Maybe healing yourself. Let's see. Okay. So, I'm feeling like um, the whole situation, you're feeling outside of yourself. You're not feeling like you're good enough. You're not feeling like you're just feeling down about everything. And it seems like you you got to make a wise decision about something that you really care about. Okay? So, this could be like some kind of family ties or relationship. Okay, what is this wise decision? All right, so I just saw the burdens lifted. So it seems like you might have a choice to get rid of something. All right, what's going on with the Leo? Okay, yeah, so it's saying that you got to sacrifice something for your happiness. Okay, all right, what is this sacrifice? What is this wise sacrifice for the Leo for the week of October 9th through the 16th, 2017? Okay, so, wow, okay, we got a whole lot of issues with people not looking for or things for what it is. It's basically saying you got to come out of that um, world where you just, world of make-believe. It's like, by you acting like stuff isn't happening, it's just lowering your self-esteem. So, it's like you need to wake up, Okay. All right, what's going on with the Leo, Leo, Leo? All right, so it seems like you may still be in this uh, situation, even though it's bringing your self-esteem down because you're receiving gifts, okay? Wow, so the person that you're dealing with feels like you're emotionally draining, but I'm feeling like this is a manipulate, manipulation tactic to, um, I don't know, I feel like just to, like, bring you down, you know? 
All right. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so it seems like this person also has a, a third-party situation, and that's why they use this. Um, you telling you um them telling you you're emotionally draining, you're clingy, you're all over them just so they can go be with their third party. Okay. And it seems like they know exactly what you're gonna do. They know exactly how you're gonna react. They tell you you clingy, you're gonna back off and they gonna run off, okay? Alright. What's going on with the Leo? Leo, Leo. Leo love reading. Leo love reading. I don't know if I said this at the beginning, but I read these straight out the book. Straight out the book. Leo, Leo, Leo love reading. October 9th through the 16th, 2017. Leo love reading. Leo love reading. October 9th through the 16th, 2017. Leo, Leo, Leo. Okay. I can see that. Mm. Okay, so just with these nine here, nines here, I feel like somebody might have been together for nine years, nine months, or I feel like it's long time. I don't feel like I could think it could have been like nine weeks, but I I feel real long term stuff going on here. Jeez. All right, so here to me, I'm feeling like um. Yeah, you you in your head, you like depressed, you can't sleep about what's going on, you know. But all you can think about is the money, and it seems like. Although this person feels like. You're emotionally draining to you. I mean, to them. I feel like they want, they're telling you at least, but I feel like that's manipulation that they want to have kids with you. But I feel like they're, they're telling you they sick of you. I feel like they being real nasty and rude to you just to get you to back off a little bit. And this makes me feel like the, the world card, like you felt like, you had everything, but this is that one thing that you want, and it's like there, but it's not there, you know. So, uh, this just makes me feel like sorry, let me I keep having to move it up and down, but this makes me feel like it could be possibly somebody that they working with that they're dealing with, or somebody that you working with. Yeah, the third party it might might be somebody that they work with, okay? All right, so. We have the Nine of Swords, and it says, a Dreams, nightmare, difficulty sleeping may be present. A very stressful time is indicated, okay? So we got the Nine of Coins, and this says, many of your dreams are approaching. It is time now for financial gain and realization of your goals. Yeah, that's this person giving you everything you want and you sacrificing everything. Like, you're not even telling this person how you feel about what's going on. But they telling you everything they feel, you know. Whew. But you like holding back on everything just because you don't want to get rid of whatever they're giving you. But this is a general reading. It could be the other way around also. Alright, so. So we got the world card reversed. All right, it says boredom, tiredness, unwilling to maintain a mission. So, I just think this has something to do with like the sleepless nights. Like, it's, it's emotionally draining you. You know, even though this person is saying you're emotionally draining them, it's emotionally draining you. You're always weak. You're always tired. And I feel like you might even be feeling sick. You know, you don't want to do anything. And you, this is probably you don't want to go to work. Okay, let's do the three of coins. Three of coins. 
reverse this says this indicates a silly workplace rivalry boredom with your position so it seems like uh i mean i don't know maybe it's some kind of misdirected um feelings it seemed like you taking out what's happening at home at people at work or somebody is doing this to you or something like that Yeah, it's like you're stressed out and it, it's making you hate your job, okay? But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, have a great week.